And storm closes in on the west coast of Florida. Louisiana natives who now live there share their plans to ride out the storm. And David Jones shows us the precautions they're taking. What I've been working on is all of this right here. This is life inside a hurricane evacuation zone. See how I've got uh, all the, these are the PGT storm windows, which will take the impact. It's a life Robert Garcia, who grew up in New Orleans, says he would not trade for the world, a life on the water. I'd like to stay if possible, but I'm in a mandatory evacuation, so they come by daily now telling us that we got to get out. Robert and his wife Pam live in the small coastal community of Bel Air Beach, part of the Tampa metro area. So that's what we're working with here. We're on the water. This is the uh, intercoastal canal. And then right this way over here, two blocks that way is the Gulf of Mexico. Weathering Helene just days ago took its toll. A white boat that beat the dock during Helene because the winds were coming in this way. Waves were going over there and the boat landed up on that, that ledge right over there. Now they're preparing to hunker down and ride out Milton. But water got this high on my back door. One of my biggest fears right now is stuff hitting our house or boats flying around if they're not tied down properly. Helene came in stronger and Helene brought the surge in. Now the surge came all the way in and you can see my swimming pool. See my swimming pool? It's all yucky because that's the water. They say most of their neighbors have left town. They've put together their own evacuation plan, which they say depends on the direction of the storm, currently trending south of Tampa Bay, which would pull water out of the bay. If it goes north and I get a surge here, I'm out. Although he feels confident the storm will go south, they remain in the threat zone. Well, this storm is, is, is a brute, that's for sure. And it's something that you got to be prepared for. This storm coming, a lot of people are very concerned. Scotty Hutton, another New Orleans native, just moved to Fort Myers further south. I think it'll be okay for where I'm at. I don't have any bodies of water by me. So I'm further inland than there, but uh, I feel really bad for everybody that lives on the water. A southward shift in the track spells good news for the Garcias, but bad news for Hutton's community an area still recovering from Hurricane Ian. With the size and diameter of this storm, I think it's gonna be more affecting the whole state, not just my area. The Garcia's home is located in Pinellas County. More than half of that county is now under a mandatory evacuation order that's more than 500,000 people. Tonight, the barrier islands have closed to everyone.